Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So today on Chin Chat, I'm just kidding. We're talking about abnormal bleeding. So we know plenty of women suffer from abnormal bleeding. Yeah. Tell me some of the main reasons that could cause abnormal bleeding. Shall we start there? Yeah, let's go ahead and start there. Um, abnormal bleeding, there's a wide variety of abnormal bleeding. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that you don't have bleeding from a different orifice. Um, because because that can actually you know change the course of things. But anyway, um, that's another story. <laughs> so abnormal bleeding can be um, caused by different things. It can be uh, due to like a, a polyp or a mass in the vagina. Um, could be due to an ulceration in the vagina. Could be due to um, vigorous sex and uh, a little bit of tearing in the vagina. Um, could be due to Bleeding from the cervix from rigorous sex. Um, also, it can be due to cervical cancer. Um, and, uh, and there's like an array of things. The list goes on pregnancy, so, endometrial cancer. I probably should have started with what what can define abnormal bleeding. Maybe that's probably like a better okay. place to start of okay. what it like what defines abnormal bleeding. Well, usually, um, as women, we have, we have periods, and it happens on usually on a monthly basis. Um, the books tell us, you know, 28 days, but that's not to say women can have variations of that. But anytime you have um, bleeding outside of the, you know, every monthly bleeding, assuming that you're not menopausal, um, it's pretty much abnormal vaginal bleeding in terms of timing. Um, and then you can have bleeding in terms of being particularly heavy. And um, that's kind of sucky too. A little bit. Yeah. So if a, a woman regularly bleeds for 10 days a month, normal, abnormal? It could be normal for her. Um, but if if that's not normal for her, then it's abnormal bleeding. Right. right? Could there be like, if somebody bleeds regularly for 10 days a month, if that's her normal, at, is there like a, like, maybe you should only bleed heavily for so many days and then it should start tapering off? Or what if I bleed heavily consistently through those 10 days? Is, can that be clarified? I mean, not clarifying, but like abnormal bleeding, is that normal to bleed heavily for 10 days? Usually not. I mean, if, if you get to the point where you're, you're bleeding heavily, like become symptomatic in terms of you being lightheaded, feeling dizzy, feeling weak, fatigued, um, tired all the time, and that's probably not normal, and you should probably see a specialist for that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. It's not a <laughs> Yes. But, don't yes. a little hell. Um, so tell me some of, like, the different treatment options i mean well that's kind of hard to say that because i guess right. it depends on what the yeah, abnormal what's, bleeding what's causing is it. so what could some of the workup consist of to kind of decipher what why a woman is having abnormal yeah. bleeding a lot of times um history is the most important like um how often is the ble abnormal bleeding happening for how long how much bleeding is occurring right. um and that's kind of how much bleeding occurring is also kind of hard to judge um we kind of look at it in terms of teaspoons, tablespoons. Uh, some women can actually have so much bleeding that they have a blood clot. Is it the size of a marble? Is it the size of a, a half dollar? Um, that sort of thing. Um, other ways that we, we kind of define heavy bleeding is if you're changing a sanitary pad or a tampon um, every more than like two hours, then that's probably abnormal. Yeah. Is passing blood clots is that ever normal for it can be can be normal i mean some some women just have a heavier bleed and uh, the blood clots basically form when the the blood is kind of stagnant and starts to coagulate so um in and of itself isn't concerning but if you have a lot of it yeah and you're starting to kind of not feel so good then yeah, yeah that can be a sign of something going on what about color of abnormal bleeding i know some women come in saying you know, they have 
bleeding that's kind of brown or they have red red bleeding or they have dark what they relate to being as like the like black like i have black blood necessarily coming out of me what's the normal abnormal spectrum kind of there well it again it, it kind of varies if anything as a gynecologist it tells me about the bleed that you're having a red blood means it's kind of fresh bleeding and then um dark red blood tells me more it's kind of old blood that potentially has been sitting in the vagina for a while like say if um you go to sleep with a clean sanitary pad and you wake up in the morning you have this kind of a, a dark brown discharge mm -hmm. then it's a more of a sign to me that you know just had some more bleeding in the in the recent past um but the color is it um it can vary too sometimes the the color can be due to like progestor progestational effect if you're on birth control pills it's really common to have that kind of a, a darkish um, discharge when you have your period right what are some some times in a woman's life when maybe they shouldn't be bleeding and sometimes they have bleeding like you said with pregnancy like you definitely don't want to be bleeding with pregnancy what are some other instances that you know a woman maybe shouldn't be bleeding and they are and that's not i mean we know that that's not normal but what are some maybe phases in life or timing that that's maybe happening menopause a little bit <laughs> So, you know, maybe a woman's going through menopause and maybe they feel they've been going through menopause for three months and then they have some bleeding or maybe they've been through menopause for 10 years and now they're having some bleeding. Mm -hmm. When, when a, so when a woman's going through menopause, when should they be concerned? Well, as a rule of thumb, we, we always recommend any postmenopausal bleeding woman to come in. And menopause is defined as not having a period for one year. Um, so if you're having any bleeding, then you should come in and see us. Frequently, um, postmenopausal bleeding can be due to um, if you're taking hormone replacement. What that does is that the little bit of estrogen that you get to thin out the progesterone can be stimulating the lining of the uterus to grow. So um, it, in fact, causes a iatrogenic um, postmenopausal bleeding, which which can be benign, but you always still want to make sure that there's no endometrial cancer involved. So um, definitely go see your gynecologist and um, get a workup. <laughs> um, and uh, just, you know, make sure that you're healthy. And so a lot, when we talk about abnormal bleeding, I know a lot of us think like, oh, I'm bleeding a specific way that that's abnormal. What about not bleeding? What about women who typically have a regular menstrual cycle and then you mean are like pregnancy or pregnancy <laughs> or what are some other reasons that might cause a woman to not get her period outside of pregnancy um and menopause yeah and, and menopause um well most of the times that we see it is because someone's pregnant um other times when you think you should bleed but you're not bleeding usually it can be due to um systemic hormones like a uh, birth control pill if you take the hormones consistently and uh, throughout the month and not take those placebo pills then um, you don't have a period also you can be on a different form of contraception like a marine IUD and what that does is just kind of thins out the line of the uterus so you don't really have an endometrium to shed so frequently you don't even have a period on that right is there ever instances you know maybe there's something else health-wise that's going on that may cause a woman to miss oh. a period yeah you can have like some um, problems with the hypothalamus say if um, uh, you have like a thyroid problem that can be causing it if um, some uh, women are extremely thin and don't have enough fat to stimulate the cholesterol production leading to estrogen like um, traditionally long-distance runners or um, young ladies in their teens who are very, very thin and should be having a period. Um, sometimes they don't have a period. Yeah. So that needs to be worked out. And how, when that happens for a woman, because I mean, I know I would love to see my period all the time, every day. Um, but with, you know, when that's happening to 
a woman, I know like if I skipped one period, I'd be like, <laughs> cool, like, great. But at what point should a woman kind of, if they're, you know, I'm 32 and maybe I'm skipping a period or have skipped three, mm -hmm. when should I like, oh, that's um, not normal. It's, it's kind of a judgment call. Like, you know, I'm sorry. It, it seems like I'm always <laughs> kind of not giving a straight answer. It's a big topic. Yeah, it's it is. Topic. It is. And everyone's different. And that's, that's the thing. How we really have to specialize in everyone's situation because everyone's different. Um, I think, in general, if you skip one or two periods, it's okay. But probably more than that needs to be investigated. Yeah. One or two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would like to skip five. And then, you know, I can make those happen. <laughs> We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I had a question, and I totally lost my train of thought. So if I think of it, we will jump back on here and pick back up where we left off. But otherwise, if anybody has any questions regarding abnormal bleeding, I know we cut this one a little bit short because we had to postpone till this evening and now it's the end of the night. So if anybody has any questions regarding abnormal bleeding or what you feel is, should it be abnormal or, or is it abnormal or is it not, you can always call us, make an appointment with Dr. Chin. She would love to have you in and see you. Um, otherwise, we're gonna end this short one quickly i apologize for it being short but it is the end of the night and we have one more patient we need to see before the night is over so i hope everyone enjoys their friday have a fantastic weekend and again any questions call text message instagram message yeah whatever that's called anything see you guys next week toodles